Today, hundreds of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students arrived in Washington. Fed up with school shootings in Parkland, Florida, and across the nation, upwards of 500,000 people here planning a March for Our Lives tomorrow. Are you touched by the fact that kids are coming from all over the United States for this? I'm absolutely touched by it. I think it shows that there is a lot, a massive amount of support for this movement. We call BS! They say they're protesting legislative inaction. It's not a red and blue problem. It's a red, white, and blue problem. It's an American issue. It's a public issue that we need to get that through everyone's like mind. This movement, still raw for many of the kids, coalescing in a remarkable five weeks and three days. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine telling the teens too young to vote, this just doesn't happen in Washington like this. You have started something that is incredibly powerful. Former Vice President Joe Biden today. They're going to change the gun culture because uh, they, uh, they have no agenda. With rallies in 800 locations in the nation and around the world, there's a sense what's happening now is not far removed from another powerful movement. I absolutely think this is kind of like the protests of the Vietnam War because we're, we're having a war on our streets. Blood, American young blood is being spilt every day. Hoping their message takes root from the streets of Washington all the way back home. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.